Okay, 24 hour time trial. Batteries and lights. Let's start with the batteries. So, in this time trial, obviously, any time, 24 hour time trial, you got to go overnight, right? So, in this time trial, uh, sunset was going to be a little after 7.30 p.m. and sunrise is going to be a little bit before 7.30 a.m. So, basically, about 12 hours of nighttime riding. Um, in any situation like this, you got to know how long your batteries last. Uh, and so uh, my approach was just to take these and uh, plug the light in on the setting that I was going to run it at and um, stay near the battery so that uh, I could tell when the light went out, get a, get a feel for how long it was going to last. So in, in this case, uh, I have a light that has three settings. When I ride at night, I like to leave it on bright. Uh, this is a 20 thousand milliamp hour battery uh, that I purchased for this race and so I plugged it into the light, turned the light on high and um, the light stayed on for at least 11 hours. Uh, it takes a long time to charge this battery but it has a good battery life. Uh, um, the, the other thing that's important is the temperature that you're going to be running these lights at but th this race is uh, pretty much at what room temperature would be in the house. So I didn't have to worry about that too much. So this probably would have gone the distance. Um, I also had this light in my pack, not on the bike, but in my uh, mechanic pack. I, I've, ran, I've ridden many 12 hour races with this battery and I know it's good for about five to five and a half hours on the high power setting. And then I always keep this battery stashed on my bike um, just in case I have a, I have a problem with uh, one of the other batteries right so most of the race is on this battery which is that's a lot of battery to carry around so there's a clear weight penalty there I don't race with a crew so I like to have as much as possible everything on the bike to minimize stops so if I have to eat a weight penalty of, you know, 500 grams, um, I might make that decision. So the light is just <coughs> this thing. But by the way, <coughs> total battery cost here. This battery costs 30 bucks, uh, and these two you can pick up for another 30 to 35 bucks. So not tremendous expense here, and. Um, Always, if you feel like you're not getting the, light out, the life out of these batteries that need, you can just pitch them. So I like the flexibility of having a separate battery, not integrated in the light. Uh, this light is um, El Cheapo light that I bought for 24 bucks off of probably Amazon. I'll try to put a link to all this stuff in the notes to the video. So, but for the most part all El Cheapo Amazon stuff. <clears throat> this light I have used as a commuter and on gravel rides for a long time. Um, and you can buy this type of light from any one of several hundreds of sellers on eBay or Amazon or AliExpress or whatever you prefer. Uh, when you get it, it comes with a lens that it's just a clear, non-diffusing lens, and um, it gives a very concentrated beam, and it's almost unusable on the bike. So you have to buy this. It's, this is basically a Fresnel diffuser lens. It gives you a large rectangular uh, beam out in front of your bike, um, provided that the the variations on the Fresnel are vertical and not horizontal. It's okay to have the beam the other way if you want. Just turn the orientation of the lens. Um, these lights are very durable. The main weak point is the connection of the cable to the electronics of the diode. Um, yeah, not much else to say about these. Uh, they're just durable. The mount is flexible. You can mount it in a bunch of different places. Um, yeah, so I usually 
I, my plan is to start the race with uh, this on my bike. The race starts maybe two hours before sunset. And so I'll just ride around until it's sunset, turn this thing on high, and um, when the sun comes up, uh, whenever I need to stop, I'll roll in, take this and the batteries out, chuck them in the back of the car, and keep on riding. So any 24-hour time trial, uh, you have to have front lights, of course, if you're going to ride at night, but most of the rule sets require you to have some type of rear light, <coughs> either solid or blinking red light at all times. Uh, so that's a lot of blinky time for your lights. So my approach is to, uh, I put one, one of these on each chain stay, and um, those are, I think, Keywell. I purchased them off Amazon, and they're super cheap. We're talking like, mm, I don't remember. I'll put a link in the description, but probably less than 10 bucks. And I think this is a Portland Design Works uh, Blinky. Uh, so I'll start the race with this one on, some low-intensity Blinky, and then... Uh, I'll just keep riding until, you know, maybe um, first or second stop. Uh, and this will invariably be going still. Uh, so that'll be well into the night. And uh, at that point, I'll turn one of these on. And then just before dawn, I'll turn the other on. And then I won't worry about it again until the end of the race. Uh, usually when I take this light off, I'll just pop this guy off too because his battery will be done by then too. And anyhow, that's enough to get you through the race. Uh, in terms of uh, powering my uh, on-bike GPS device, which is a Garmin 520, um, I purchased this and I uh, have a rig on my bike. This is uh, just some one wrap that I glued to the to the back of the battery pack <coughs> with um, a product called DAP Weldwood. And then the other portion of this uh, one wrap is glued to the fixture on my bike to hold this in place. So this is probably overkill. This is 10,000 milliamp hour. Um, I, you never know how long your Garmin is going to last. It can vary a lot depending on the temperature you're riding on and, you, I'm sorry, the temperature you're riding in, what peripherals you have linked to your Bluetooth, to your Bluetooth uh, Garmin device or your ant uh, communication to the Garmin device. The more devices you have will drain it more and sometimes they just seem to drain, drain a the battery on the Garmin more aggressively. I don't necessarily understand what's going on there. This is probably way more battery than I need, but it's for sure going to be enough. So, uh, yeah, and this is maybe the most expensive battery that I have here. It's maybe a $35 battery or something. Probably overkill, but actually not that heavy. Uh, yeah, so. So that's what I got in terms of lights and batteries on the bike. <coughs> or not necessarily on the bike, but that I'll have on standby or on the bike during the race. 